Hey everyone, Wes here. Uh, so Sublime Text 3 has been out for a while now and I think it's at a point that most developers are able to uh, safely move over from Sublime Text 2 over to Sublime Text 3. Uh, the question I get most is uh, how do I migrate over m all my plugins and packages and uh, what does package control look like on Sublime Text 3? Uh, so what I wanted to do here is uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to get package control up and running um, as well as migrate over all of your settings, all of your themes, and as well as all of your plugins from Sublime Text 2 over onto 3. So, um, if you have, what I want you to do for this tutorial is open up Sublime Text 2 as well as Sublime Text 3. Uh, you'll notice that the author has renamed it to just simply Sublime Text um, and no longer Sublime Text 2 or Sublime Text 3. Uh, so, if I go ahead and click it, you'll see that. Um, I have it just here on whatever state. What I want you to do is open up the packages folder uh, for Sublime Text. So, click in the top left hand corner of your screen, click Sublime Text, Preferences, and then Browse Packages. If you're on Windows, it'll just be Preferences, Browse Packages. Uh, and what this will do is it will open up your packages folder uh, as well as show you a few more folders for Sublime Text. Um, the contents of these packages is probably going to be different for everyone. Uh, maybe you tried it a couple months ago, maybe you tried to migrate over your packages yourself and it didn't quite work. Um, so what I want you to do is just make sure you're in Sublime Text 3 folder and then just select all of your files there and just blow them out. Delete them all uh, because uh, we're going to be starting from a super fresh slate and we don't want to have to be dealing with any uh, anything that you've set up before. Uh, so go ahead and blow them all out uh, and then quit Sublime Text 3 and then start it up again. What you'll see is that Sublime Text went ahead and populated it with those four folders right again for you. Um, no problem here. Um, and if you go into Sublime Text you'll see that we're able to go ahead and start writing code. The problem is that we can't install any packages because package control hasn't been installed yet. Uh, so, Will Bond, who's the guy that uh, work, develops package control, uh, he's been working real hard on getting package control up and running with uh, Sublime Text 3. Uh, so, the way to get this installed, uh, unfortunately, isn't as easy as the previous version because it's still in development, um, but the way we do it is through uh, with Git. So, what I want you to do is open up Terminal or uh, iTerm and go ahead and what we want to do is move over to this folder right here. So Sublime Text 3 Packages. So where this is located is actually nested in quite a few folders. Uh, so we could go CD tilde library application support Sublime Text 3 Packages or a much easier way is just take your packages folder, drag and drop it into your terminal window and hit enter. What we want to see here is that we're in Sublime Text 3 forward slash packages. Um, so if, if I list my files here, we just have a user folder and nothing else. Um, if we were in Sublime Text 2, you'd see every single plugin that you've ever installed. Um, so the way we do this is go on over to the package control installation website and scroll right to the bottom. You're going to see uh, we've already cd'd into the packages directory but now we want to go ahead and grab um, clone the repo which is uh, from github. So paste it in there uh, give it just a second and now if I list the files you'll see that we have this new folder called package control. If we cd into that um, we're going to be in the github repository. Um, yeah, so if you aren't familiar with how Git works, um, Git allows you to have different branches. Um, you might see something like master, you might not see anything at all if you don't have the same theme as me. Uh, but we don't want to be on master. We want to be on uh, the Sublime Text 3 branch of this Git repo. Uh, so the way we do that is we just type git checkout python3. And what that will do, you'll see it changed to Python 3 here. Uh, all of the files on our system have swapped themselves and now we're, now we're running a version of package control that works with Sublime Text 3. So if you go ahead and quit Sublime Text 3 and start it up again, 
you'll see that we're now able to install packages just like we were in Sublime Text 2. Uh, so that's great, but none of our settings, themes, or packages have moved over from Sublime Text 2. So that's the second part of this tutorial that I want to show you how to do. Uh, so if we go back to our folder here, you'll see that we're in Sublime Text 3, but if we move over to one uh, folder down to Sublime Text 2, you'll see that we have a packages folder and inside of that I have every single uh, every single theme and package that I've, I've ever installed into Sublime Text. Um, so the way you might be tempted to just copy this entire directory right over to this one however that's not going to work um, work for you. Uh, so the solution to that is fairly similar to that. We want to go ahead and select every single folder that's inside of this packages directory but if we were to copy that we'd be overwriting some uh, pretty critical parts of Sublime Text 3 so we want to unselect those uh, those packages that are purely just for Sublime Text 2 so I'm going to go ahead and unselect that so just a garbage file um, the important folders to uncheck here are the default folder because the default folder here are the defaults for Sublime Text 2, not for Sublime Text 3. So uh, we don't want to move that over. If we do, we're going to be overwriting a bunch of Sublime Text 3 features. So make sure you uncheck, uncheck that. As well, you scroll right down, you want to uncheck the package control folder, right? Because this package controller folder is for Sublime Text 2 whereas we just installed the Sublime Text 3 one. So if we copied that over, it would just be overwriting all of our efforts that we just did. Um, so with those two unchecked, I'm going to copy them. I'm going to head over to Sublime Text 3 and I'm going to click on the Packages folder. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. Now right away you'll probably get a pop-up with something like this. An item named user already exists. Do you want to replace it? Um, so user refers to the user directory uh, and if you've ever made uh, a setting change on Sublime Text, if you've ever made your own snippet, uh, if you've ever uh, made a custom keyboard shortcut, all of those user specific preferences that you've done, they all live in the user folder. So when, you, when you're when you migrating over all of your preferences and snippets, you're going to want to overwrite the user folder because Sublime Text 3, the user folder, there's nothing in there. So go ahead and click replace. And just a few seconds later, they've all been copied over. Uh, if I go now to Sublime Text 3, uh, you'll see here that it looks kind of funny if I open up a new tab it doesn't exactly look proper and that's just because uh, I have some themes that have been loaded so just go ahead and quick quit Sublime Text 3 restart it and then you now you should be able to see it properly if I open up my settings I'll see all of my old settings from Sublime Text 2 uh, that have made its way over and I'm still able to install all of my packages or I'm able to go ahead and start using uh, start using all of my uh, uh, plugins just as they were in Sublime Text 2. So that's it. Just make sure you don't copy over the default in the package control folder and uh, you'll be in good shape. Uh, so thanks a lot and let me know if you have any questions.